Thank you, Mr. Speaker. In the face of great adversity, we often witness the very best of public spirit, selflessness and bravery from our fellow citizens, those who sacrifice concern of their own safety in the interests of others, and no more so than the first responders during this terrorist attack in Reading, to whom I pay tribute. In the same way that my right honourable friend, the member for Bournemouth East, did so in March 2017, another member of our parliamentary family, who by chance was at Forbury Gardens on Saturday, ran courageously towards danger, his only focus to help the injured. Mr Speaker, I would like to pay particular tribute to James Antell, a member of my own staff, who not only used his own shirt to stem the bleeding of one victim, but continued resuscitation on a second victim until the paramedics arrived. This was indeed a remarkable and extraordinary effort from a young man who has been with us in Parliament for a little over four months and whom I am extremely proud to have as part of the, of the West Dorset parliamentary team, as I hope is the whole House. Yeah. Well, Mr Speaker, can I join with my honourable friend a tribute to his assistant and to all other first responders who showed great humility um, but also that sense of duty in coming, coming together on Saturday in Forbury Gardens to respond and prevent the further loss of life. Um, as I've already said, Mr Speaker, they are the very best of all of us, and I pay tribute to everyone that was part of the emergency response, because quite, quite frankly, they, the resilience that they've shown, the courage that they've shown, the bravery that they've all shown is to be commended.